and kick ass. Hey guys, I'm going to do a uh, update video on the full collection. I've, I've been asked by a, a user if I can do a full update collection. So here it is. Um, we're going to start off with the uh, Blushback Babies, which since they're in the, uh, they're on the top of the rack. This is a uh, pastel, Blushback Pastel and a uh, Normal, both siblings. These two are females. This is our hold back female. She has a full full dorsal. I have my uh my assistant. It's my daughter. This is one of the male, well the only male. Uh we're planning on holding back too. Yeah, uh, female bumblebee. She's about 400 grams. Female spider. This is kanji. 800 grams. This is the uh, clutch, clutch of the lemon pastels that we hatched out. There's uh, one male pastel, one normal male, and the rest are females. There's two of them in here, let me see. Female Enchi. She's about 300 grams. Maybe more, but uh, she's not at least, she's not 400 yet. This is the male Enchi. He's a lot prettier than the female. He's about 300 grams too. This is the one that was. Um, that I did the video on the shedding. I don't know if you guys seen that one, but um, that's the one that I caught shedding. This is the male Mojave. He's about 400 grams. Let's see if I uh, turn on the light. He's really nice. He'll eat anything I toss in there anytime. Calico Ringer. He's about 300 grams also. He hasn't gotten his colors in. We were told by the uh, person that we bought him from that uh, he was a quote unquote flora and fauna line, low white. And uh, when they're about 400 grams, they start to get their colors in 500 grams. He's going into shed, so every shed he does get brighter. Uh, there's his ringer right there, and on the other side. Yeah, For my reading, it's not genetic. The ringers, this is the uh, male spinner. He's pushing close to 500, so hopefully he'll go for us this November. Male albino. He's uh, 450. And we're going to pair him up with one of the heads that we have. Uh, male normal. This is Sprocket.
this female is doodle a so I'm not gonna mess with her too much she's doodle a on the first she's uh, 2,500 grams right now with the eggs in her so um she was bred, bred to a uh, cinnamon and a pewter before we got her so we'll see uh, the who's your daddy clutch this is big mama this is the mother mother of the blush backs she's back on feed this female she reabsorbed her follicles so she didn't she didn't produce anything this year just a female normal yeah. this is the uh, head albino female she's going into shed so uh, she's in her water bowl let me uh, lift this up she looks tight You guys are wondering what that is. That's the um, when you order Chinese food, they give you those black bowls. We just cut a hole on top of them and use them as water bowls. This is the uh, lemon pastel he's going into shed too. This is the mother of the uh, lemon pastels. She's a really dark normal, so yeah. Uh, hopefully the uh, the babies will come out bright. This is our um, male lesser. About 900 grams. to keep this short We're already seven minutes and we still got a lot to go this is a uh, male normal someone was um yeah giving them so we took them we give them a good home we were told he was a head albino but there's a lot of people they have had albinos and he really don't and this is a uh, blonde pastel she's going into shed hopefully next season we'll be doing the spinner to her see what we get let me go on to the other rack um, Female hard white spider. She's about 900 grams with food in her, so give or take a couple of grams. This is a male spider. He's a pig in his thing. He's going to shed. You can see the stomach is pink. So we bumped up his humidity. This is the uh, father of the blushbacks. Um, this is a uh, 100% head albino we picked up from Gecko Haven at the Hamburg Reptile Show. She's not going this year. She's a uh, kind of a bum eater. And this is a pastel male. When we got him, the guy told us he was a um, yellow belly pastel, which I doubt it, but he was free, so he's just a regular pastel doesn't have any high flames he is kind of bright though 
and his stomach doesn't really have the yellow belly tracks besides that but I don't really think I don't really mess with yellow bellies so I wouldn't be able to tell if any of you guys see this and want to know what a pastel yellow belly would really look like you know feel free to lend your expertise because uh, none of us are experts and there's something that we learn every day but uh, for now he's just the pastel for me he's about 300 grams put him in the air I have my assistant Right. That's it. Um, there's about 35 snakes in total, give or take one or two, and um, we're waiting for the first so that she can give us our five or six or seven eggs. And um, I'm going to cut it now and give you guys a tour of the rat rack, so I have a lot of walking to do. Bye-bye. See you in a few. Hi guys, here we are at the uh, rat rack. We finally finished the watering system, so it's uh, kind of ghettoed out, but whatever. Um, we have it connected to a bucket of water. We have uh, fittings from Home Depot. Uh, teas from Home Depot. They were about four bucks. Um, we ordered these spots from uh, Reptile Basics and the line was also from Home Depot for like three bucks, like 20 feet. Um, this is what we have for now. My phone is kind of dying, so the flash, the flashlight won't work. But um, there's a lot of babies. Should go down. And that little group down there, uh, a lot of rats. We have more down here. She's she's was laying, so she's bleeding everywhere. There goes a baby right there, which looks like he got squished. But um, I'm gonna leave her alone. And that baby looks like a stillborn. So we'll see. In about an hour and a half when I come down. These are the mice. I have a crap load of mice. There's uh, three females, one male, and both females are pregnant again. So we're getting a lot of babies. Yeah, try not to decapitate anyone here. Um, we added a little ramp. I wish you guys can see it. It's kind of dark in here. Anyway, we added a ramp because um, it was too high for the spout. It was more African software babies. There's a crap load of them. And more fuzzies. Let's see if I can pull this out. Yeah, I wish my phone had a little bit more charge so I can show you guys. But um, yeah, that's what I have. See, uh, four high. Um, each one of them has a spout. Again, Reptile Basics. I ordered the um, the tips. Um, works pretty good. If you guys are gonna do it, uh, I'm just gonna give you some advice by mistake. Uh, it might not go all the way down. So what you'd have to do is put your finger on the tip of the spout and let the air out so that the water can actually come through to each each one. Because uh, we broke our heads trying to figure out why the water wasn't going through and you know, kind of stuck the finger in there and seen one of the air bubbles come down. So that's the, uh, get all the air out of the lines and works, works like a charm. So uh, no more water bottle filling for us and leaky water bottles and smelly, smelly bins. This is our basement. Our, um, mess down here. Incubator is out of service for now till the first 
And um, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, again, thanks for all the new subscribers. I really, really, really appreciate it. I uh, subscribe, subscribe back to everyone that subscribes back to me. And uh, I try to leave comments and, and, and positive feedback and pluses. So um, I, you know, I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Say bye. Brianna, say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.